hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make peanut drops if you're not yet subscribed please do so and there's a bell icon please click that as well so that when i post a video you guys are notified and you can come over and check it out so that you don't miss these recipes guys because to miss is the this anyways make sure you guys are using the dry roasted unsalted peanuts and you want to put them in your pot you're going to run some water over them just to rinse them off a little you know you're not going to get all the debris off but you're gonna you know somewhat rinse off some of the extra stuff just like that next we're gonna go in and add our ginger i'm gonna be grating the ginger on the smallest side of my grater you know a little bit of ginger grows a long way but some of us love ginger so you know do what you do if you love more you put more if you don't want a lot in there you put less right so now i'm gonna be using the terminata sugar but you can use the regular brown sugar i just prefer to use the terminata sugar so for the i had two things of peanut we're bringing it up to a boil and then we're gonna add the sugar so i used like three quarters of the of the two pounds so that's how much i used the two bottles of peanut you want to bring up put enough water in your peanut to cover your peanut a little as you guys can see the water and the peanut is somewhat on the same level so now once you add the sugar, you're going to add any spices you're planning on adding into use, into your drops. For me, I'm just adding in some cinnamon. And I, I want to say add some, um, a little bit of vanilla as well. So you're going to let this boil while you constantly stir. Because this is like a time bomb, you know, it's going to go by really fast. So you want to constantly stir. So I'm also prepping my foil because we don't have a banana leaf. We all know traditionally we use the banana leaf to set the drops. But, you know, where I am right now, that's a scarce commodity. I think they have them in the store for like $10, but I'm not buying that, guys. So anyways, we're going to continue stirring until, you know, it starts getting um, thicker and thicker. And just watch watch the consistency change when I keep showing you guys it. the consistency on the spoon you want to bring it down to a consistency where it stops moving like each time you stir you're gonna feel it getting harder and harder to stir that's how you know you're getting close And you started feeling it in your elbows. <laughs> you know you're getting close. So that's me now, guys. It's getting really close. So I'm just, you know, stirring it. As you guys can see, it's really slowed down and it's sticking to the spoon a lot. So we're going to continue to do this for a little bit more. And then we're going to go ahead and set them on the foil. So when you're putting them on the foil, you want to go fast because... They are drying as you're putting them down and they will get hard in the pot. So you wanna, I like to turn off the stove and just leave it there. But um, I recommend you guys take it off the stove, take the pot off the stove. That way it doesn't continue to cook and possibly burn. So this is how you make your drops guys. Remember to leave comments like this video share this video try this recipe and let me know and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye for now these are the finishing products guys they are super delicious i really hope you guys try this and enjoy them from me to you.